YouTube, YouTube, what it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy G Trail Show coming to you live. But man, this is my take on it, man. You know, I don't really speak on this behalf, but on some real stuff, real talk, real talk, real talk. Man, I just want to say RIP, rest in paradise to take off. Whole condolences to Quavo, Migos, Offset, P, the whole Cully Control camp. Cause they lost a real one, man. They lost a great, great, great talent, a great, great, great human being. And just special prayers to the mother, the father, the brother, sister, if he had kids. Um, I just want to say, pay, pay my respects respectfully. You know, because what I'm about to say, it might touch a lot of people. I ain't here to judge. I ain't here to hurt no feelings. And this is just all allegedly and disclosed information. This is just from uh, not even an opinion, just a statement. I'm not blaming nobody. No disrespect to Jay Prince, his whole family, his whole camp. It is just what you can see outside looking in. I'm not speaking on nothing. I ain't taking no sides. It's just all about how you move out here in life, in streets, in business. So, you know, it, it, it's just a sad and unfortunate situation. Um, I'm going to keep it one thou. You know, it happens all the time. I mean, they know that. I mean, that's why they call them mob ties for a reason. I mean, they've been out here. We all been out here. If you really, if you in the black community and you come from poverty and pain, you come from struggle, it, it's really nothing new. I mean, let's keep it 100. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm pretty sure we all, or most of us dealt with some type of death in the family like that, some type of setup situation like that, or a note of a person, or heard, or especially in the black community, especially in the hood, in the ghetto or just in the black sub suburbs. I mean, this is the game that that has been around from the beginning of the time. This is nothing new. I mean, a setup is a setup. Let's keep it one thou. You did. Like, I mean, yes, yeah, a lot of scenarios out there. It's a lot of speculation. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, superstar rapper or not, a regular person, innocent or not, you should never been in that situation. You know, I know in hindsight, we all talk that yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, let's keep it real. Quavo and Takeoff knew better and should have known better. Jay Prince should have known better. So the, it ain't no blame, but y'all multi-millionaires. I'm going to get on Quavo them first. Y'all multi-millionaires, young, black, successful. From the streets, you're successful. Y'all knew about this. Y'all been in the game, what, eight to 10 years strong. It's always been about how you move. I don't care who you is from black, white. You got to know how to move out here. Because this happened all over the world. Not only in the black community. Let's keep it real. Like, yeah, you can't stop God from coming for you. You can't stop robberies. You can't stop murders. If God call you home, he calls you home. We get all that. But at the end of the day, don't make your chances high. Let's keep it a buck. Don't make your chances high. Why? I mean, y'all living the life that most dream of. And you're doing this to prove who to what to what. You never see the boss or the CEO argue with peasants or the workers. Never. What are y'all arguing about that was so drastic? Like, it couldn't be. This is why we have to be men in the community we have to stand tall and be stoic because he did say, let's go. But immediately he should have left before, right after the, the, the gambling thing. He's the leader. He's the head. He's the oldest. He's the strong point, but he looked like he's the raw, raw dude. But at the end of the day, killers and robbers move in silence. Let's keep it a thou. That's any race. That's anywhere. You think a person going to tell you what they finna do? Hell no. For what? And first and foremost, Y'all boys are multi-millionaires. Y'all didn't take no training. 
Y'all don't have no military security. Y'all don't have no security, period. You can't trust nobody. And y'all all from the hood. Y'all should know these rules already. I don't care who it is. Where, you're not in your city, your town. You supposed to already be on alert. Even if you went to go do some training, where y'all gun license is at? Where your military training at? Where, why nobody ain't pick up on these cues? This is what the streets is about. I don't care if you're rich or not, poor or black. You got to know better. I don't care. And what type of event is that? Like, bro, I'm a multi-millionaire in an event because of bowling alley. I don't care if it's upscale, high end. You can't trust no one. And there's no disrespect to Jay Prince and all of them. I'm pretty sure I don't think they wanted that to happen like that. And it went down like that. You can't control people's anger. You don't know how people feeling. But all I know is people hungry out here. I don't care who you is, what you got going on. It all it takes is one. Most people don't fear you. All it takes is one. People are hungry. They hungry for blood and they hungry for money. Ain't nothing coming out in these streets. You have to go work for it. But some people want to take what you got because it's easy. You know this already. You know this already. Like, then you don't have the way y'all moving. Y'all all in the crowd. You don't have 10 of your 15 of your homeboys. They got more homeboys than you. I knew them. If you going, y'all might as well should have been by yourself. If you ain't had no protection or no, no bodyguards, that doesn't make sense. And y'all y'all went over there. Like, like ain't like y'all went to a show or a tour. Like, and it's nighttime, pitch black. Like, it, it was doomed for a setup. Even if they set y'all up or not, it was sweet. And it looked and it ain't went over, it don't look like it was a robbery. That's even worse. So that's why it is a setup. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just doesn't make no sense. Cameras is out, people around. What y'all got going on? Nobody defused the situation? I don't give a damn what's going on. These are millionaire superstars in your town and your care. I'm going to get to Jay Prince respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully. Why Quavo didn't just not even go or leave right after that? And what are you arguing about? You never see the CEO boss come hang with the peasants. Period. It's not calling nobody period peasants, but... I ain't never see it. You think they're going to come down and talk to you? What are we arguing about? No million dollar deals. No, no, custom. ain't no, you talking about a basketball game? And in a, you could have went to a casino and ran it up. So you got to give blame to Quavo. Takeoff not here. He can't speak. Both of them are to somewhat to blame. This is how life is. You, this has been going around since the beginning of time. People going to want what you got. That's just what it is. And they jealous of you. They murked you without even getting nothing. That means they don't care. They just wanted you gone. But my thing is, y'all don't have no type of military training. Y'all don't have no, have no military homeboys. Y'all didn't have no uh, bodyguards. No people to, on the outside looking in to correct that shit. Or to really put down people. They ain't only black, white, Spanish. You got to be smart how you move. One thing about white Chinese, they don't flaunt their wealth. They don't show their wealth. They have wealth in the bank and in investments. We try to show our wealth to attract the girl, but little do you know, you'll get killed over that girl just because a person jealous of you. That being said, still much love. Always have respect for them. They did greatness. They still could do greatness, but it, like you got to have more awareness. Boom. Now, Jay Prince and the whole mob tie, shout out to them. I don't know the from a can of paint. I'm not saying that they did it, allegedly. I don't know what's going on, but y'all could have handled that better. Situation, your hood, your city, you should have had the right proper security, for one. For two, you should never have no underlings around them discussing anything to them. I don't care who they are. And three, you could have diffused the situation. You the big dog, you the big homie. You're there, that's your city, your town. It shouldn't have been escalated to nothing like that. I ain't seen not one of y'all push Quavo. Hey, nah, come on. And you supposed to jump in front of that. Period. Because it's still in your care. Now y'all got to suffer the consequences trying to not be in the middle, but you're still in the middle now. So what was all that for? Respectfully. And at the end of the day, y'all got some blame because that is your city, your hood. Y'all brought them to that event with no other stars, with no top line security, with, with, 
underlings and people that's from the block. What the hell? They don't even supposed to be dealing with that. Period. Let's get to that. But that's what I'm saying. And it's just looking sketchy. But y'all got 40% of the blame. Because now it's going to be bad blood between QC, Atlanta, and Houston. And it should be. Because it is no explanation for that. It should have been more preparation. On Halloween night, this man got shot twice. So that's a hit. That ain't no robbery. Because they y'all all together. Number one rule in the street is don't trust nobody. Your friends and family be the main ones. And I already know the setup. Come on, man. Let's keep it real, Jay. I know what you said. Yeah, come on down. I got you. Ain't nobody going to touch you. My dog's down here. You know what I'm saying? We just going to have a little fun. Yada, 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 yada. But what about that man going home? His kids, his family, his money, all of them. You got innocent people there. Could have got hit. It could have been a massacre. For what? So it's something deeper than that because, like, come on. I don't want to say you do better. You all know better. Come on now. Y'all all street dudes like y'all all claim, like everybody claim. Y'all all been there. Y'all all been shooting, busting, gangsters. So y'all, this is number one rules. Number one rules for anybody. White, black, Spanish. You think they don't know the rules? Number two, you flaunting in front of people. I mean, it ain't about living and being a real nigga. You got to know how to move. Number three. Number three, no top-notch security. No, your head busters to not, you know, to show the respect. Because if it was real security there, none of y'all would have never got in there with no guns. Why y'all even there with guns? If it's a top-tier bowling alley with superstars. You ain't bring them guns to protect them. Them the guns that got them killed. And it's all allegedly, no disrespect. Like I say, it ain't no judging. It's just all how you move. This is all the opinion is. Migos moved wrong. They did. It ain't about living your life. We all can live life, but we got to be smart. You got to protect yourself, your investment, and your energy. I don't care who you are. And Jay Prince, y'all moved fucked up. Y'all didn't move smart. So y'all have some explaining to do, and y'all in the middle. I don't care if you knew the niggas or not. If you didn't know them, you shouldn't be around them. If you didn't know them, you should have checked them, niggas. If you ain't know them, you should put the pipes on them. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it all the way 1,000. If y'all so-called street dudes and y'all know all of this, it shouldn't have, you already know what time it was. And if you knew these boys are jackers or these boys own that, why y'all even dealing with that? Why that energy even around with multi-millionaires? Come on, man. Come on. That's, that's my take on that trilogy show. Gonna be a lot of bit more content. Like, hit the subscribe button. I'm just giving it to you raw and uncut, man. I don't know what other way to give it to you live. Man. Like I say respectfully, R.I.P. man, he didn't deserve it. You could see he was a good person, a good dude, but hey, it happened to us all. This is just how the game goes.